Hey guys and welcome back to another Multiverses video. In today's video we're going to be looking at all of the latest Multiverses news on the huge update coming very soon. So we have a huge update coming soon and in this video we're going to be looking at more information from the last few information videos so let's get into this video. If you guys are new make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. We are coming close to 50,000 subscribers and with your support I believe we can do that so thank you so much for the people that have been supporting the channel recently but without further ado let's get straight into today's video. So the top comment in the last video was this comment right here that you guys will be able to see and someone says I'm calling it you play as Gizmo, but he has ability to gain such eat popcorn like Giant or Velma. Um, then he charges into Stripe like Giant and cha can change into his assault form. Um, and, and he'd assume that Gizmo is more support, whereas Stripe is damage. That's a really interesting, you know, theory. Let me know what you guys are thinking about that theory. I think that could be a really interesting thing. It is confirmed, though. We have some more information, guys, right here. So Tony says Gizmo and Stripe are two separate characters. So we do know this. I know a lot of people in the video yesterday today we're commenting that but he has actually confirmed it himself and then multiverses have in more information to do with the update coming next tuesday which is rule one don't expose them to sunlight they hate it rule two don't get them wet rule three whatever you do never feed him after midnight so this is all information that we do know to do with gremlins if you guys haven't watched gremlins then all of this stuff is sort of news that we can um, you know figure out from gremlins but maybe that last third one has a leak or a little bit of a hint to do with some of his abilities or maybe the first one too who knows maybe this could be something to look forward to but we're going to look more into this into detail so ASL says this tweet was likely completely wrong because of a misunderstanding of my data my bad Morty had been added and play tested but I don't even think Stripe was at all um, so do you do what you will with the info if he begins to get play tasted, I will let you know. So if he starts getting added to the game, and if there's any more sort of exciting updates with him, we will get some information on that because all of the leaks will do it. And I'll post it straight to YouTube for you guys. He also goes on to say, in the official Multiverse server, they have two separate things. Just to confirm even more, that are going to be two different characters. So they're all going to have their own you know, abilities and stuff. They might be able to connect in some way, but most likely completely different. Susie agrees with this um, and says, I'd love it, but it's seems like Gizmo is coming first because obviously people aren't sure what's going on with Stripe. There's been a lot of hype to do with Gizmo, but I think Stripe is going to be coming quite a bit after. It's not confirmed on that though. Now let's talk about some bugs guys. So Boomer says my max character badge is bugged. I have 10 characters maxed out. You can tell by the character badges, but it only displays eight. This will be fixed in the next bug. So if you guys are experiencing this, don't worry too much. It will be fixed soon. The next bug is um, someone says, Tony, I know you're really busy, but Wonder Woman still has the bug where she takes damage from her neutral attack. Wondering if you fix that on the next patch, and it is fixed, which is another exciting thing. With LeBron James, we have, speaking of LeBron, is anyone looking into him? Sometimes his attacks don't give him his ball back, such as Downlight, and his ball doesn't break Batarang. Can he receive a buff in the future? I think both these issues are addressed in next week's build. So for people that play LeBron James, don't you worry because he is going to be having a huge update on this character. So we can expect some changes with LeBron James and some positive ones at that case. So Snammer says, are you guys aware that LeBron doesn't count towards the max character badge? And this is another glitch. So if you guys are worried about that, don't worry too much. But with Taz, Taz buffed is going to be a huge little thing I guess I don't know if it's little or huge but he says yes but hopefully not too much but for people that use Taz this is a big thing that's why I was saying it was huge because it's a big thing for Taz users to be using and then it says it I wish Batman had more functionality in duos now I agree because it says it he can grapple to his friends but he doesn't do anything to assist them a thought his smoke bomb could should do a one-time cleanse thought could increase time on smoke bomb to offset his ability cleanse is interesting so could they be doing this with batman making some changes with batman for the next update we don't know and then it says here from poop dealer so when do we make it so di works even when you don't have resources
resources because sometimes I get caught lacking with no resources and left to die at 50 because DI ceases to exist. We'll test this. It's definitely not intentional. So there's another thing to be looked forward to. So let's talk about my opinion on things, guys, at the moment. So new characters come to the game is slowly come into the game. I think it is good that they do bring them slowly because if they bring them too fast, then there's a chance that the game could, you know, have an experience when it becomes dry. But the more they do that, like less frequently, then I think the game will constantly be on a high. And I'm looking forward to seeing when Black Adam comes out, when the likes of stripe comes out and all these other characters because it's something to look forward to in the community and obviously we still have rick to come out which is most likely going to be towards the end of the season personally i do think gizmo and stripe is a good thing and i think it is a step in the right direction it might seem like it's a weird add to the game and a lot of people aren't sure if they want him but personally i do think it is a good idea to do that just personally because i think having smaller characters and characters that aren't too hyped around just means that some players can just enjoy the game rather than them being too hyped and i think that people are getting a bit too um people are over expecting things and people are having high expectations with the game and i think it's good to play the level like sort of level it out a bit more fun and stuff i'd like to see if they have um the idea of bringing out new maps maybe um later on in the next update if they bring another map or something that could be quite an interesting idea i'm i'm kind of unsure on that though Again, it's just an idea, but I honestly think that that could be pretty cool. Ranked should come soon too, and I will be making a video talking about my thoughts on that. If you would like me to talk more about Ranked, let me know. I have been thinking a lot about Ranked. It's a tricky one, because Ranked is something that I want to do, because I have something to play towards. And it's just, I'm, I'm not sure. But generally, the state of the game at the moment is really, really good. So I do appreciate everyone that has been supporting me on my live streams and my videos. That's everything for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video guys peace out